Hi, today we're going to talk about how body, body dysmorphia is diagnosed. Okay, so number one, symptoms through personal history. So a therapist will run a behavioral assessment and have you fill out a questionnaire and do some exercises that are based upon the American Psychiatric Association of Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Health Disorders. But for it to be accurate, one has to tell the truth. But who wants to admit they have a problem? Number two, psychological testing. Aside from observation and interview, a psychologist will perform tests to determine if the symptoms are a result of, an, of another underlying mental health condition. So for me, my body dysmorphia is linked with my borderline personality disorder and my manic bipolar. ADHD, OCD, the list goes on. Um, number three, a physical exam. So they will take a look at your body to see if there's any of the signs of having body dysmorphia. So surgical scars or compulsive picking or suicide attempts. Um, number four, they do lab work. They do a complete blood count of hormone functions to rule out thyroidism, um, to test your progesterone and testosterone and to test your adrenal function. So they can rule out a metabolic illness. Number five is they'll run a neuroimage exam. So they'll give you either like a CAT scan or an MRI of your brain to see if there's any orbital frontal cortex um, issues because that's like where like the symptoms of body dysmorphia would come from. And these are the methods that are able to establish a diagnosis of body dysmorphia. If you want to learn more about like um, the different therapies that they use to treat body dysmorphia, um, leave a comment in the video and I will give you what you ask for. Have a great day.